Number 25. Yeast converts glucose to ethanol and carbon dioxide during anaerobic fermentation as depicted in the simple chemical equation here. Glucose yields ethanol plus carbon dioxide. Okay. So here I got A, B, and C. So I'm just going to write this down. A, B, and C. So let's see. For letter A, it says if 200 grams of glucose is fully converted, what will be the total mass of ethanol and carbon dioxide produced? So let's just write this down. So I'm going to say glucose yields ethanol plus CO2. And we know that CO2 is carbon dioxide. Now, just remember, the law of conservation of matter states that the whole reactant side in total mass has to equal the whole product side in mass. So they're saying that 200 grams of glucose is fully converted. Fully converted means that there's no reactants left. And the reactants is always on the left side. So I just put L side. So this side, glucose, would be the reactants, and you always go into the products, which is the P. So 200 grams of glucose is fully converted. So 200 grams of this, and I should put, I guess, 200.0, is fully converted. What will be the total mass of ethanol and carbon dioxide produced? Well, this side, the left side, the reactant side, has to equal the total for this side. So law of conservation of matter says that if it's 200.0 grams for glucose, it has to be a total of 200.0 grams for both ethanol and CO2. So the answer here would be the same exact number because of the law of conservation of matter. Letter B. If fermentation is carried out in an open container, would you expect the mass of the container and contents after fermentation to be less than, greater than, or the same as the mass of the container and contents before fermentation and explain? So here we go. We got a beaker and it's open. It's not closed. So what do you make? Well, we make ethanol. So I will put ethanol over here. And ethanol is actually drinking alcohol. So these yellow dots I will represent as ethanol. And the green dots I will put down as being carbon dioxide. Okay. And let's just say that this weighs something, right? So let's say that right now it weighs the 200.0 grams. Because law of conservation of matter is the, pre the reactants has to equal the products. But now it's open. There's no seal on it. It's open. And we know that carbon dioxide, what do you think carbon dioxide is? Is it a liquid, a solid, or a gas? Uh, carbon dioxide is a gas. And what do gases do? They go all over the place. So if this container is open, what's going to happen to the CO2? It's not staying inside. It's leaving. And remember... All solids, all liquids and gases have matter. So if CO2 is leaving because it's open, what do you think is going to happen to the mass? It's going to drop. It's going to decrease because there's some mass that's in the CO2, and now it's leaving the container. So of course the container would be less. So it says here, would you expect the mass of the container and contents after fermentation to be less than, greater than, or the same, it would be less than because the container was open and CO2 just came tumbling out of it. it gases will not stay in a container if there's no seal on it. Letter C. If 97.7 grams of carbon dioxide is produced, what mass of ethanol is produced? So this is kind of going back to letter A. So I'm going to just rewrite glucose yields ethanol plus CO2. Now they're assuming that 
glucose, there's still 200.0 grams of glucose. And now they're telling you that there's 97.7 grams of carbon dioxide, which is CO2. So we're going to put that over here, 97.7 grams on this side. We want to find out how many grams of ethanol is. Now, just remember, law of conservation of matter means that all of the reactants has to equal all the products. So we don't know what this is. We could label this as X, and it becomes a simple algebraic expression, right? 200.0 grams of glucose would have to equal the two things that are on this side. So X plus 97.7 grams minus 97.7 to get X by itself. And X would tell you how much is left over. So that is 102.3 grams, and that's how much ethanol would be produced. So there you go, guys, the answers to A, B, and C. I hope this helped. I hope you guys understood. Let me know in the comments how this was for you. I will see you all in the next lesson. Have a great day, guys. See you later.